guys, I've been asked a few times how to use DXF files um, in Silhouette Studio's free edition. So I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough today and show you how to do that. How to do that. Um, the first thing that we should talk about is why you're going to use DXF files. DXF files are vector files. That means you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. You can make them really small and then big again, and you're not going to lose any quality. If you if you have one of the premium versions of Silhouette Studio, you can open SVG files, so they might look something more like this um, PNG that I'm, I'm using as a sample here. Now, if you're using DXF files, you might see a sample image that looks like this, and when you go to open what you purchased, you end up with this. Because designers can't sell Silhouette Studio files, they may sell you a file that looks like this, and then you have to figure out what to do with it from there. It's not that complicated. It seems kind of complicated, but just, you know, I think a lot of designers are going to keep in mind that these are going to be kind of a mess when you open them and try to keep them as neat as possible. So the first thing that we're going to do is you might, your first inclination might be to just start clicking things to recolor them and make them look the way you want them to look. And that's, that's fine. You can do that. So we're going to fill it right click, make compound path, and now we have a word that is different from the rest of our collection of outlines, basically. But if you want to do some of these a little bit faster, you can look at areas where you are going to group things that are going to be the same color. And you're going to use the select tool, which is what we're already using. Click and drag, and if you fill this, everything turns that color, because everything is transparent except for its outline and you've um, selected this, this big outline here. So to undo that, press Control Z, and now you're gonna hold Shift. Well, we'll just start over here. We're gonna click and drag around it, now hold the Shift key, click that outline to get rid of it, right click, make compound path, and you're done. So you're just gonna do that with every area that you can to make this editing go a little bit faster. I'm gonna press the I key on my keyboard and hover over Lord because I know I want the first line and the third line to be the same. And fill it like that. Shift click, right click, make compound path. Okay. For bows it's going to be a little bit different because if I select the whole thing then they have a whole bunch of stuff I have to deselect over here and I don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to click around the word bow and release. I'm going to hold shift and click to drop that outline and keeping shift held, I'm just going to click on this S over here, and now I have everything I need here. Once again, press the I key for the eyedropper and fill it. The bows are a little bit different. We're going to zoom in here. I'm going to hold the space bar, and then I can click and drag things around while my click is being held. And around the screen. It's a little bit easier than using the scroll bars for me. I'm going to click each of these because I know these are shadow colors for my bow. And we're covering these first because this is the only thing that's a little bit different. Now, I'm going to fill these, but if I just right click and make compound path out of these, there's a little cutout over here and a little cutout over here where you lose part of your shape. So now back up, Control Z, Control Z, and instead I'm going to go down to the bottom and choose this icon, which is 12 selected shapes into one shape. And then I'm going to right click to make compound path. If I don't, then the shapes that I welded are together, the ones that touched, welded together, but the other parts of the shadows are left out. So I want to make sure I have all my shadows together. Make compound path, and now I can change. Whoop, I guess I dropped one. Let's make sure I have all of them selected. Make compound path, and you can change the color dark orange for now. I'm going to choose my bow and make it a medium orange and then grab these highlight shapes and we will make those a compound path. I feel like I, I may have the wrong thing selected there. There we go. And I dropped it. Control C, right click, the compound path. These are really bright. Um, insert. Okay. 
Now I'm going to click all three parts of my bow. So I've got the highlight, and I've got the highlight, the bow color, and the shadow. And I think they moved that just a touch. Okay. Shadow, bow, highlight. I'm going to go into my line color window and choose this crosshatch square, which means the no outline color. And now we're just going to do the same thing with our other bow. All right, and that's pretty much it. You can adjust this outline here. I'm going to get rid of the color in it and just give it a very faint, faint fill. And you can adjust the opacity there, transparency for this one. And just make it however you like it. I don't have anything in mind here exactly. You might be able to tell these colors don't really go together. I didn't really come here with a, a game plan for how exactly I wanted these to look because that's not that's not the point. You're going to make them look how you want them to look. And I'm just showing you. All right, I had to pause briefly so that our UPS man could have safe passage because my dog started going a little bit crazy. Um, I just wanted to show you the um, you know the functionality of using these files, not necessarily show you how to make something brand new. But if you bought one of these files and you're feeling like, oh no, now I don't know what to do with it, it's not that complicated. It's not, you know, you can get it. You can do it. You can get it. <laughs> All right, we had to pause for a minute because the UPS man came by. Nothing for me, um, but my dog started to go a little bit crazy, so I had to make sure that he had, you know, safe passage. Um, and also, mostly just it was loud, so I paused. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the functionality and usability of these files, not necessarily. Um, you know, show you how to make something pretty. But if you've bought one or you're thinking about buying one and you're not sure how to use them, they're just vector files. They're, you know, they're pretty easy to work with. You just, um, once you get them put together, let's see, I'm going to grab the color, the bow, face, the highlight, and the shadow here, and I'm going to group this. And now I can just move this off of here, okay? With this PNG file that I was showing you guys earlier, I can't grab anything off of here. These files are much faster and easier and to me it would be worth it. So I hope that this was helpful and answered some of the questions better than just a written tutorial would. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!